Hello friends, welcome to another session of video tutorial on robot framework. If you are an existing subscriber, thanks for all the support. If you are new or a regular visitor to my channel and haven't already subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. To subscribe to this channel, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that whenever I post a new video, you get the notification immediately. In this session, uh, we're going to take a look at uh, how to create our first Hello World program using robot scripts. To do that, uh, in the last session, we have created this test demo project. And inside that test demo project, I'm going to create a new file. Right click on test demo, select new, and then click on file. I'm going to call this file name as demo hello world dot robot. A robot is the extension for the robot script file. Click on OK. Once this robot file is created, I'm going to add few sections here. I can make use of the IntelliSense available here by pressing Control Spacebar. There are different sections you can add in the robot file. We will be covering these sections in the upcoming videos, but for the first example, I'm going to add two sections. One is keywords and the other one is test cases. Okay, keywords are like methods. If you are familiar with methods or functions in, uh, in, in Java, so here I'm going to create a keyword called print hello. Okay, print hello is the keyword. Go to the next line, hit the tab, and then I'm going to just log this into output. Okay, and then under test cases, I'm going to create a test case now. I'm going to call this as TC001. Okay, and the indentation here is needed. To see that you know this particular section, whatever I'm writing next to this particular test case belongs to this test case. So here I'm going to call print hello. Okay, I'm going to save this. So after creating this test case, so we got some issue here, which is saying okay the keyword definition is not found for log log is a built-in keyword and robot framework and it couldn't find the definition for it so let us see how to resolve this go to file settings and then select the project which is test demo in our case and select the project interpreter and then select project interpreter drop down and click on show all and you delete this project interpreter okay, click on add and then select system interpreter system interpreter is the one which we uh, which is available at the the Python installation folder and this is where we have installed Python and uh, this is the python.exe so this is the interpreter which it should use click on OK then click on OK so now you can see that the packages which are available under this 
Python interpreter, which is ro uh, which is including robot framework and the Selenium library. Okay, click on apply. Hit OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this. I deleted the original line and then I'm going to type it again. So log. As you can see that we got the IntelliSense now because our interpreter is correct now. Okay, so log. So hello world. Okay, so save this. After this, we need to run this. So there are two ways of running this particular test case. One using command. The other one is using PyCharm itself. The first one which we are going to look at is using the command. So we need to find out the exact location of this particular robot file. For this, I'm going to open select the file and then show in explorer so i'm going to copy the path and then open up the command prompt and go to that particular folder the command which i'm going to use here is robot and the file name As you can see that it has run and the, the only test case which we have is TC001 and it is passed. So we can take a look at the log file, copy the file path, open up a browser and then select the log file. Okay, select the test case and this is the the keyword which we are trying to call and this is what it has printed okay so it has logged hello world into this log file this is one way of running the test case okay the second way of running is through PyCharm to run this particular test case through PyCharm so we need to do some settings that is go to file settings and select external tool under tool section and click on new or add a new external tool provide the name here I'm going to call it as run robot test and you can provide the description here. I'm going to skip the description at this point of time. And then under program, I'm going to select a program which is a script, which is nothing but this robot.exe, which we have used under the command prompt. So this robot.exe is available under scripts folder inside our Python installation directory, which is so this is my Python installation directory and under that I have scripts. So inside that scripts I have a robot.exe. So under program, I'm going to provide this path and then robot.exe file. So this is the full path of that executable file. Okay, under arguments, so we have provided here the argument as the file name itself. So here under insert macro, I'm going to give the file name here. I'm going to select the macro as file name and click on insert. Okay, so this is the argument which goes into this particular program. And the working directory which I'm going to select again through insert macro and this is the file directory so from this directory from this directory you select the file name and provide it to robot.exe okay click on ok 
and then click on apply and OK. So now you select the robot file, right click and then go to external tools and then this is where we have created a new tool. So select that to run this particular test case. Okay, currently we have only one test case here, but you can have multiple test cases. So generally this dot robot file is called a suite. That means it contains number of test cases. That is the end of this session. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit that like button and share it. If you have any queries, comments, suggestions or requests, please leave a comment in the comment section. I will see you in the next video.